Hey everybody, sorry for those technical difficulties. Um, yeah, I switched back to my old camera because now it's plugged in stuff. Wait just a second, there we go. Alright, so this is the Pokemon Platinum version walkthrough. I will be covering every item you can find on routes and such, so I hope this is really gonna help. Um, yeah, so in the beginning, it's just like any other Pokemon game. The professor asks you if you need any, um, like, uh, you know, help, I guess, with stuff. Um, and I just realized I don't have my stylus, so, quick. Yeah, I mean, this time, if you guys played, um, Diamond and Pearl, he had a Meryl, I think it was. No, Meryl is, um, he had a Munchlax, yeah. So, in Platinum, he has a Baneary. Not really much of a difference. So, he just babbles on about him being so good at, um, doing stuff. And then he asks you if you want to be a boy or a girl. Now, I'm a boy, apparently. So, yes, I am a boy. I do not need to check twice. Um, anyways, my name, my name, my name, my name is... It take me a second because I don't have my stylus of doom. Um, E. Austin. There we go. Okay, Ooh, you can see me in the background. Um, now I don't have an intro, and I probably won't for a while. So if you guys want to make me an intro, or somebody wants me wants to be make me an intro and be in the beginning of my video, you can advertise in your... In the intro, just don't make it crazy, I guess. Um, yeah, and we'll make him, his name Barry. So yeah, um, make me an intro, and I will gladly appreciate it and advertise you on my channel and my videos. And I'll subscribe to you because you probably you probably have good videos. Yeah, so I'm not so good at narrating right now. Let's turn this down a little bit. Um, yeah. So you shrink magically and weirdly. Ooh, I need to take a shower. <laughs> Pokemon are by your side always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was a comment left by Professor Rowan, who returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. So yeah, it's another TV show thing. And then that concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor w Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV. See you next week, same time, same channel. So yeah, oh, you'll move once and Barry will walk in and be like, there you are. And then he'll talk about the TV show because apparently he was watching it downstairs or he has lightning speed and ran across the neighborhood to his house. Okay, and then he talks about, ooh, maybe we can ask him if we can get a Pokemon. And then he just raids your PC, which is like very personal. And like that is really not right, seriously. Alright, so he'll find you 10 million if you're late, which, like, you can just go up to him and hit him, and then he won't. So yeah, I recommend changing your, um, text speed to fast, because it gets really annoying when it doesn't go by very fast, and I guess you can just choose any one of these that you want. I'm gonna choose this one, because I like the steel kind of, uh, look on it. Um, yeah, as, as you guys can see, I'm not recording in direct nighttime. So yeah, I think, I'm not sure if this is like, Pokemon, oh yeah. Now you, it's, you, you can't get a potion out of the PC like you sometimes can, it just talks about Pokemon basics one time or something like that. Yeah, so as soon as you walk down the stairs, your mother will be like, oh my gosh, there you are. And then, um, she'll be like, Barry already left, and you gotta catch up to him in a hurry. Yeah, but all I can do is walk, thanks mom. And she tells you not to go in tall grass because Pokemon are going to eat you, apparently. Starly are going to, like, peck your eyes out and stuff. So you run over this way. Now, don't go up there yet. Like, don't go this way yet because I think this guy is going to stop you. And he'll be like, he'll push you back rudely and be like, Hi, Austin Berry was looking for you. I think he's at home now. Um, yeah, so if you guys go that way, he'll just do that. There's no way to get past him without cheating, which I'd be kind of funny. So you walk in front of Barry's house's door, and he'll be like, Get out of my way! And then he'll realize it's you. And then he f gets about a little bit around the corner, and then he forgets he left something. So you you and your stalker self need to go into his house, and then you can talk to his mom if you want to. I don't. She doesn't really have much to say. Yeah. Yeah, this... Barry definitely has, like, a ADHD or something. He can't stay still. Alright. So he's talking to himself, and then he's like, Where are you in truth, though? And then he'll find you another 10 million. But he never did. 
Just walk back downstairs and go outside, and this time the guy that's out there, he won't stop you. Um, and you're pretty much free to go out that way. But Barry's there. I just gave a spoiler. Doesn't really matter. I bet most of you guys have probably beaten this game already. At least, I, I hope you guys have. And I don't, this walkthrough is pretty much for entertainment and any help that you need. So he'll be like, what, don't go to the hall ra tall grass? No problem. Did you notice that your main character never says a thing? He's just like the silent type. But like everyone seems to talk to themselves. So he, he um, yeah, he goes back, gets a start. Oh, and then Professor Rowan stops him. And he walks over out of nowhere. He says, you two don't seem to have Pokemon. What's the meaning of going to tall grass without Pokemon? And then there's an awkward silence. And then Barry, with his undelightful manners, scares him off. And then he starts talking to himself. Professor Rowan scares me, especially in the anime. He, sound, he sounds like this. He sounds like a freaking monster. And he'll ask you if you love Pokemon. Well, I don't really know what happens if you say no. I'm just not going to say no. Just say yes. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Okay, then he just talks. This part's kind of boring because there's nothing to do. So now, he tells you not to be reckless again, and you don't really care. And then Dawn appears, and she's just like, Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase. And then he's like, uh, okay, I just forgot it, I'm sorry. So, she says, no, don't give these Pokemon away, they're hard to replace, but she has one of her own, so that little cracker needs to shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Giggity. Um, yeah, so, you can actually save right here. No, Barry will tell you he goes first, or you can go first, because he's practically a grown-up. So you can actually save right here to start soft resetting for, like, a girl or a shiny, and it's actually not that hard. I'm not going to do that, though. But, um... I was thinking about choosing Piplup, but I played as Piplup before, and then I was thinking about Turtwig, and then I thought about Chimchar, but I know a lot of you guys really like Chimchar, so I was gonna, I'm gonna go with Chimchar, because I know that's like a fan favorite, even though a lot of guys go with that. Even though Piplup's a really good choice, because it can learn Peck, and then destroy Turtwig, and stuff like that. And I really didn't want to pick Piplup, because the first battle is really annoying. Alright, so he tells you to, if you need any help, go to Sand Gem Down, and he'll help you. And then Don's like, please let me pass, or I'll destroy you. And then Barry just stands there in silence. And then he goes crazy and runs over to you and gives you a hug. No, not really. But, um, he asks you, are you up for this? Yes. I've always wanted to say this. It's time to finally come. Awesome, I challenge you to a battle. So this is your first battle versus Barry. Um... He does this crazy little dance, I love that. Um, he sends out a Piplup. Well, he, he'll send, ooh, we actually got a girl Chimchar. How lucky are we? Um, he'll have whatever Pokemon that you don't have, like, he'll have the opposite. So if you pick Chimchar, he'll have Piplup, if you pick Piplup, he'll have, uh, Turtwig. If you pick Turtwig, he'll have Chimchar and whatever other com- I think those are the only combinations. Yeah, so basically what you can do is just- keep on scratching. I mean, you can do growl, so he won't do as much damage. But, um, I'm just gonna go with what I always do, and I just keep on scratching. <laughs> it's funny. Um, so you just keep on scratching and scratching, and health keeps on going down, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a very boring battle, but it's actually one of the most epic, because you could lose, or you could win. Now I just realized I have a minute left of recording, so we need to hurry this up. Hopefully I can get a critical hit because that will really help. Um, now it just keeps on using Growl, it's not really that reasonable or whatever. Alright, so I actually have to put the other video in front of this one, so in the next video we will continue our rival battles. So yeah, go to the next video and don't forget to comment, rate thumbs up and subscribe and watch this walkthrough.